Oh, oh, hello, 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 everybody. Hello. Oh, man. Hello. <laughs> so, uh, I'm gonna do arts. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do the arts. Um, I'm gonna turn that down, down a little bit. Man, that was louder than expected. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna do a stream where I make, uh, art. There you go. <laughs> hello, hello, everybody. We got, uh, J-Dog, Narwhal. Ruben Peters, imploding kittens, RCJ Queenie. Oh man, uh, um, Clay, oh, fuck, uh, Clayton. I think I don't know. It's blue. I can't read it. <laughs> uh, Remy LeBeau, Jabatma, uh, Lodas. Um, uh, uh, Sir Lionheart is here. Christian Young. Oh man. Uh, oh, uh, Lotus says I got uh, you got a Hunter Showdown key. So if you want to record a stream together, let me know. I like playing Hunter alone. To be honest, I play I play it alone, and I'm like, this is great. <laughs> I mean, everybody else is not playing alone. Uh, Laugh Nick is here. Yeah, so here's some things I made before. Remember, remember this guy, the uh, the Danger Rust tour. 83, 84, that one was fun. That one actually I did in a, uh, in an art stream, such as, such as this. This I made, uh, this week. Um, not in a stream, but I wanted to make a poster for the Fancy Boys Whiskey Club. And that was pretty cool. This part right here was a lot harder to do than it looks like. <laughs> oh, things are happening. <laughs> oh, Shane Teast. Shane T, man, thanks for the thanks for the resub. Oh man, what 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 a, what a resub! What a resub it was. Oh, this is a uh, a thumbnail that I made for the uh, Fancy Boys Whiskey Club video, and uh, I did cool stuff here. That's that's cool. You you don't even a lot of this you don't even notice because it's so small when it's in your in your sub feed. It's like I can't even make it smaller than that. I was trying to make it smaller. Um, here's a the Just Cause thumbnail. Really, I just took an image and I played with it a bit to make it work for me. I kind of I kind of go for like a uh, a drawn look uh, usually. I don't know, that's how I like things. Um, uh, uh, ben Giffords here. He's uh, one step closer to his PC. He got a graphics card from his friend. That's sometimes, um, I'm looking at the playback. Are there, are there captions on? Does anybody see captions on the stream? Does anybody see that shit? And it's, it's, it's crazy too. I wonder if I read the captions back if they just keep on getting worse and worse. Hold on, I gotta... <laughs> I gotta take a look at this. Hold on a second. Where... All right. One of the captions read: Seven seen a shot. This as gets crazy tool live. Read the caption spec and just keeps on getting worse and worse. Idea of an eye in uh, this poll are second ape. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Uh, Narwhal says captions is a new option. They're uh, they're not very good. <laughs> uh, um, imploding kitten says, "What program do you use for your thumbnails?" Photoshop. Yeah. Little Dino says, "Turn the music off." No. Little Dino. Shut up. Shut your fucking mouth. Fuck you, little Dino. You turn the music, turn the music off. Yeah, here you go. You you want it you want it to just be like this, for the rest of the stream, just silence, just silence. Little di are you are you fucking crazy, little dino? Tell me to turn my music off. Nice to see you, by the way. 
Uh, I always have these, uh, I can't make these things go away, these little guides. I, well, like, what do I need these guides for? They're worthless. They don't do anything. I don't need these. Um, so I want to make a couple thumbnails for uh, streams that I want to do sometime this week, maybe. Um, Ruben Peter says, put on my song, Danger. No. In fact, uh, every time I hear somebody, see somebody talking about uh, a song request, I'm going to just ignore them. Entirely. <laughs> I gotta turn off these captions. They're driving me crazy. <laughs> there we go. Uh, yeah, the, uh, I mean, I'm glad that they're moving forward and they're making new and interesting things with, uh, on Twitch, but, uh, but their captions aren't very good. Like, I don't think I have, like, a strong accent or anything. I don't think it should have that hard of a time understanding what I'm saying. <laughs> the Froman Show says, We want to hear your mus husky man voice only. I was going to say musky man voice. <laughs> uh, have you tried Inkscape? It's free and pretty good. I haven't. I haven't tried Inkscape, but I, I doubt it compares to uh, the awesomeness that is that is that is Photoshop um, when it comes down to it. All right, I'm gonna. What am I gonna play this week? Uh, how about um, how about let's start off with, with GTA. I'm definitely gonna do. GTA this week. Usually I'll go into uh, into Grand Theft Auto and I will actually like set up a, a, a uh, I'll record video and then get my best like get a really good uh, screenshot in the video editor. I have time for that shit. <laughs> or do I? You know what? I do. I do. I'm opening up GTA. That's what I'm doing. Hold on. Where's GTA? I'm gonna do that. It's only gonna take like a couple, five, ten, twenty minutes. <laughs> um, GTA, where are you? Where, hold on. Oh, yeah. I also need to plug in my goddamn controller. I don't have it plugged in. And my cable's like 27 feet long. So I'm like dragging it across the house. There we go. All right. Uh, it'd be under G. <laughs> That's what I know. G for Grand Theft Auto. Uh, all right. <laughs> Those GTA loading times. Well, I mean, this is probably a good opportunity for everybody to tell me how your day is. How's how's everybody's day going? Mine's going all right. I woke up. I had Mountain Dew in front of me. Um, then I, then I started doing this. I didn't wake up as early as I wanted to, but I woke up earlier than I usually do. So that's good. I'm trying to reset my, my, uh, my clock, my sleeping clock, my body clock. Lodos is doing all right. Rotten Dead Ted says doing, doing homework at work while not wanting to do homework. I think they just call that work work. See, because homework's work that you do at home, but work work is homework that you do at work. So, so really you're doing work work. Um, is this thing gonna start or what? What the hell's going on? Oh, right. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm not even gonna bother going into a, uh, it takes a little bit of extra time to load into GTA Online, but yeah, you know, I think it's got to be somewhat less, uh, uh, some somewhat less than going into a into a single player and then loading whatever the fuck. I don't know. Sam Thunders here says he's still sick. Uh, he's sick, but still went sledding after clearing three more inches of snow. Sounds like a good day. Shane T's day's been good. Woke up, had sex, went for breakfast, then went drifting in the snow. 
That does sound all right. You know that that doesn't sound like a like a terrible day. Um, little Dino says that his day was was awesome. He's been playing Fortnite all day. That doesn't sound like a very good day to me. I don't know. I just haven't. I don't enjoy Fortnite. I've tried. I've tried to play it twice, and each time I'm just like, I can't wait for this to be over. Missy Lambert's here. Hey, Missy. I'm, uh, don't be fooled. I'm not playing GTA. I'm, I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm, at, I'm doing art. It's just, you know, I, I want to do art right. So naturally I'm going to go into GTA and that's where the art begins in, in Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> um, Man, Sam Thunder has this has this uh, life that I've I've never heard of. He's he's sledding and shoveling snow. He has children. I don't know. For some reason, I just always thought that Sam Thunder was like 15. You know? <laughs> well, I guess he could be. He could still be 15. Like yeah, these kids they're wearing me down. <laughs> it's like you're 15. He's like I know. You try having kids. <laughs> Son of a mother is is here. I'm do I promise I'm doing art. <laughs> Daryl's like, do a playlist. <laughs> yeah. Um That Froman show says that he uh he if uh found out that he I he identifies as a nineteen sixty four Chevrolet Impala four oh nine four speed. That is an important point in a young man's life. <laughs> yeah, Jimmy Gamer says, uh, never, never let danger guess your age. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. <laughs> Sam Thunder says he wishes he was 15. No problems to worry about. Well, I don't know. I. My life sucked balls when I was 15. I hated being 15. Granted, life got harder when I became an adult, but I think ultimately it got better. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't have a great like young young adult life. Kind of sucked a lot. So I'm I'm perfectly happy to be an adult now, where I can do the things I want to do. Damn, the loading times, right? Oh, I almost forgot to. Let me. Where's. Where's, uh. Ah, there we go. I had to turn the stream boss back on. I forgot that I turned it off. Whenever it's ready. Ah, shit. That's right. Okay, hold on. There we go. That's. That's the way that you do it. <laughs> Oh, oh, uh, uh, crazy mixed up pup. <laughs> thanks, uh, thanks for the resub. Oh man, nice, nice, nice resub. What, what a, what a resub. What a, some. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> thanks, man. <laughs> uh. Uh. Yeah, Narwhal says, this was me, the last GTA stream. I blue screened like eight times. I know, he kept on... He kept on, uh... Dropping out. Like crazy. I don't know what was going on. Ah. Oh, hey, it says it's loading online. That's great news. <laughs> J-Dog says, GTA is a drag. I don't know. It did me well for a long time. You know, I, uh... I can't, I can't complain, but I do want to see if I can get a refund. You can't see it. Hold on, let me, uh, let me drag my Steam over. Uh, here we go. Oh, you know what? A lot less hours than I thought I had. 1,594 hours. I thought I had 1,800. But, uh... Yeah, do you think that they'll give me a refund? <laughs> uh, 
GTA used to be dangerous life. It still is to some extent. I mean, the, gro the growth of SFE was entirely based on GTA, 100%. Okay, let's see. Uh, what do I want? I need, um... I need something cool. Bring... <laughs> Bring me something cool! Boss, some wheels? I can bring them around. Uh, no. Uh, let's see. Bring me... my ruffian. I'll bring it to you. Okay, I got stuff to do. Bring me something cool! Jessica Mack, hey! Hello! Also, Max Nobody. Uh, so, uh, Max Nobody says, going to be doing more on Twitch again? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm making an effort to uh, do some stuff on Twitch. I think, uh, I think doing some art streams is a good idea. Twitch is a great place to do art streams. Like, I couldn't do this on, on YouTube. First off, I'd be demonetized. Second off, um, they, uh, nobody would watch it. <laughs> There's YouTube, YouTube's live streaming capabilities. Like, they, it's, it's just not good. Uh, let's see. Let's find, uh good place to do things. Yeah, here, how about, uh, wait, hold on. I need, uh, I need some action happening in the background, so hold on. I'm, I'm gonna go to the city. And, uh, and that's where cool things are going to happen. I promise. I promise you cool things will happen. <laughs> I can't even see what's happening. Hold on, I got my screens all messed up. Hold on, hold on. Lester's calling me. Events are happening. Um, oh, Nightmare Crater. Oh, thanks, thanks for the donation, man. Get out of here, Lester. He says, uh, "Sorry, I have to ask. Did you check out that game I tagged you uh, in on Discord?" I I don't know. I don't I don't think I saw it. I don't. I'm not sure. I don't remember. Uh. Oh wait, you, uh, the one that you were you were mentioning the uh, uh, f uh, free to, free to play uh, PUBG style game or something. I th I think I looked at that a long time ago, but I I was I really wasn't impressed by it. a lot of people like made it, they were like oh man it's gonna be great, but I looked at it, I'm like this kind of looks like garbage. <laughs> uh, oh here we go here's. Here's what I'm gonna do. Here, let's uh, start recording. Oh my god, that might be awesome. <laughs> All right, I think, I think I got it in one shot. All right, now I can uh, cancel that recording. We're gonna go to. Uh, we gotta go back to uh, to single player. Leave GTA Online. Okay. This is how you get... This is how you do GTA uh, thumbnails, if you're doing it right. Um, if, if, you're, if you're doing it right, this is how you're going to do it. And, uh... It's going to take a while, but trust me. Trust me. It, what the? Oh, right. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot that Michael had his own life going on. Uh, let's see. I want to turn up the uh, the graphics because we're gonna want we're gonna want some good graphics going on. Uh, let's see. Everything set to very high. I don't need a good performance for this. I've got this stuff all set super low, uh, just because I need it to work while streaming. Jesus! <laughs> oh, Narwhal! Thanks for the resub. He says apparently it's my three-month anniversary. Anniversary. Although I'm sure it's been like four to five months. So here's a thing. You know what? The uh, it's the thought that counts. <laughs> thanks, thanks, uh, thanks, thanks, Narwhal. Thanks, thanks a bunch. Oh, James Esposito's here. Um, 
He says, Danger, it's about time you grab the untapped Sunday afternoon market. <laughs> Streaming is so fucking dead on these afternoons. Well, there's also not very many people uh, watching uh, as well. Uh, oh, Missy Lambert, thanks for the bits! Oh, Missy, thanks. Thanks for the bits. Where do you get these bits from? <laughs> Where do you get all these bits? Oh, I got ultra options on some of these. Some of these you gotta be careful with, because uh, there's very high and there's ultra. Uh, turn on in-game depth of field options. Very high tessellation. All right, we're good. I'm probably gonna have to restart the game. Okay. If uh, if you if you just tuned in, I assure you, I'm doing art. <laughs> I assure you, I am. <laughs> and game crash. GPU overload. No, no, no. You gotta do that every time you change graphics. My GPU is great. The problem is, is that it doesn't. It doesn't divert all of this to GPU, it only diverts some of it to GPU. And it puts a lot of extra un unneeded strain on my CPU, which my CPU can't handle that and stream at the same time. Like, I can play this game on ultra settings if I'm not streaming. But, uh, if I'm streaming, I gotta turn everything down to medium, and even then, I don't get, like, the best performance. <laughs> uh, Normal says that he needs a new CPU, that's why he's been blue screening like a son of a bitch. I don't know, man. If you needed a new CPU, I don't think your computer would start. You might want to, uh, you might want to do some, uh, some diagnostics. Find out what's really going on. It's more likely that you've got a, uh... We had a, a, a crappy stick of memory. Or uh, or it's just a software issue. Mr. Jam? Hey, man. He says, uh, been so hungover today. I watched back the H1 stream from last last night. Had it playing earlier whilst dying in bed. And you're singing, uh, had my head pounding. <laughs> oh, sorry, man. Did you get to the, uh, the, the part where the guy tells me to get in? Pulls up and he's like, get in, buddy. That was probably the funniest thing that ever happened. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Danger, any news on the My Damn Screen Minimized t-shirts? The one that uh, people have been wanting for like... three years, but is no longer relevant because my screen doesn't do that anymore. <laughs> uh, I don't... I don't think it makes for a very good s shirt, is all I'm saying. I mean, I should probably just make it. Because people ask for it all the time. I should just make it. Like, what kind of an asshole am I that's just gonna be, be like, no, you can't have it. You can't. But just the same, like, thinking, thinking from a standpoint of, uh, of, like, who is going to see the shirt and then be like, like, I gotta, I'm, I'm trying to think of, like, who's going to see a shirt and then be like, where did you get that shirt? Like, basically, by making shirts... I'm I'm advertising for myself on your bodies. <laughs> and you pay me to do it. <laughs> uh, Desiru says, Danger's back on Twitch. This is for the demonetization YouTube gave you from last night's... Uh, starting last night's stream. Oh, it wasn't just last night's. It's, e it's every stream, but now they're doing it before I even start the stream. Which is bullshit. Because there's no way that they could know that there's something in there that's controversial or or goes against their thing. Like, they're just they're, they're they're just doing it automatically now, regardless of what's in it. And it, and here's the thing: every single video that I put through the repeal process gets re-monetized, but it it takes it takes like a week to do it, and by then. The video's already gotten all of its views. <laughs> Jala, Jala's here. Hey, thanks for, thanks for the bits, Jala. Oh man. <laughs> or Ms. Firewave. I'm not playing GTA, by the way. I'm not doing this for fun. I'm doing this for art. <laughs> Missy Lambert says stick to Twitch. I probably should. Well, <sighs> I have to do both. Realistically. Yeah. But, 
that's kind of my that's kind of my plan. I want to do more on Twitch, but I also want to do some some stuff on on YouTube. So like, I don't know. I'm I'm I'd like to get more to edited doing like regular edited videos on YouTube, and then do all of the streaming on Twitch. But uh, but that's gonna take a, that's gonna take some time. Um, like that's 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 something that's gonna be a process. Jeez, the shirt sure is wait. Oh, it's loading online. Come on, don't, why 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 did it do that? I should have been loaded already. Because now I'm gonna have to load online and then. Uh, then go back to single player now. Anyway, <laughs> and Mooki, hey Mooki. Uh, this is <laughs> these GTA loading times. Yeah, it's all right. Gives us gives us time to enjoy each other's company. There we go. Look, this this is what the the stream would be like if I were on Ultra. Set. Actually, this is pretty good. <laughs> I mean, it has some hangups every now and then. I don't think I'd be able to drive a car on a stream in ultra settings. And my CPU would definitely overheat. I'm actually surprised how well it's going. Usually it doesn't look anything like this. Alright, anyway, let's uh let's head back to uh to single player now. <laughs> Leave GTA online. So, uh, you're about to see how, how we did all of those, uh, those GTA animations. Like, uh, like how Russ did, um, uh, uh Hike the Alien, or uh, Grand Theft Alien, that's the one. I always called it Hike the Alien. Yeah, no one else says, the frame rate's a, a bit shitty. It's, uh, it's a lot better than I expected it to be, though. <laughs> But that's okay. I only need one frame um, in the Rockstar ed Editor. I'm gonna create a new project. I'm gonna add a clip. Wow, oh, this is the only clip I got. Damn, good thing I recorded something. Watch me record. Watch, watch me record it, and it's just like oh, I can't use this. This is garbage. <laughs> um. <laughs> Number creator says he spent almost seven hours playing Dreams of Desire last night. Is that that uh, that one that you that you uh, that you uh, mentioned? All right, let's. I think this is my shot right here. So here we can uh, get a free camera. I was hope I was hoping to get an explosion right as I was hitting the jump, but I kind of I didn't time it very well. Um, let's see. Let's, uh, <laughs> maybe right there. <laughs> um, <laughs> maybe get this. The, oh, it's too bad that she didn't ha have like a, like a reaction on her face. I mean, she does have this reaction, which I think is hilarious, but you won't be able to see it from over here. <laughs> you know what? This could have been good, but uh his legs inside of uh inside of the bike over here. And also I don't know why, but like thumbnails where you're going right to left seem to always look better for some reason. Um let's see, let's uh Maybe, maybe like right there. <laughs> huh. Maybe like that. <laughs> yeah, like looking up in the sky, maybe. Also, you can control like the zoom and stuff. And <laughs> you know what I could do is I could uh, I could just put an explosion in the background. That'll fix that fixes everything. Do 
You know, I think that I don't I want to get a little bit closer. Hey, Fat Matt's here. Hey, man. <laughs> um <laughs> Oh, uh, he said. He said. Uh, James Esposito says that he figured out a real battering ram ship in Worlds Adrift. You can even just slam into land and take off again. That's uh. We got. We got. We got to play some uh, some Worlds Adrift again really soon. I really want to. Okay. I think that might be. <laughs> that might be. That might be the ticket right there. Maybe. Oh, you know what. It's got to be like more more straight on maybe. That pole in the background is really what fucks me up. I really hate that pole in the background. And this pose doesn't do much for motion. It doesn't look like he's in motion very much. So, you know what? There's no there's no justification if it looks like shit. If it looks like shit, it looks like shit. That's all. That's all. That's all you can do. Hold on. Let me get a, a wide view over here. See what's going on. Uh. The hell happened to my camera? Oh, it got. It was out. Of, it was out of view. There we go. All right. <laughs> you know, this might be a good shot right here. You know what? Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to give this one a shot. Let's see. <laughs> Maybe I could just get a a shot of me flying through the air. You know, this would be great for uh, for stunt races. The cool thing about the uh, about the the having the sky as the background is that uh, is that it's easy to key things out. Okay, you know this isn't this. Oh, what the fuck did I just do? I just reset the goddamn camera. I didn't even know you could do that by hitting that button. <laughs> All right. Um, this isn't bad, but it's not good either. Uh, the fuck? Oh, there we go. All right. Um, I'm going to set no depth of field because I don't want to fuck with anything. Uh, I like to give it a little bit, a little bit extra saturation. Not enough to, uh, to fuck everything up, but... Like a little bit. Maybe. Yeah, there we go. Cool thing about GTA is that you can increase the brightness, and it's not like in a in a fo like in a in a picture where uh, it just it just whitens everything. Like this actually increases the light in the scene, so the sun actually gets brighter. Like that actually looks pretty good right there. Okay. All right. Yeah, it's not bad. What the? Hold on. Oh, are you serious? I can't make the HUD go away because my fucking this game, like, demapped my goddamn right stick. All right, how do you do it on keyboard? <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. Cancel, cancel that. What am I doing? Um. All right. Uh, shit. <laughs> Hold on. I gotta, I gotta figure out what the goddamn keyboard control is for Rockstar Editor. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Get out of here, Mountain Dew. You're not helping right now. <laughs> Rockstar editor key by keyboard. <laughs> there you go. Uh, how 
How to use the right, okay. Um, key, key bindings. All I want to know is what the key bindings are. Um, oh my god, that's, that's fucking useless. Rockstar, okay. This is probably the best one. Uh, nobody answered it. All right. From my experience, pressing alt shows the characters and also gives you RE choices. Did you look where the characters have always been? The fuck kind of question? What kind of answer is that? What? More comments. The fuck? <laughs> that was super helpful. <laughs> oh man. Uh. Oh really? Uh, hike. Mister Jam says Hike showed similar to this in his GTA stream today. Uh, in in uh, in editor. Really, I didn't know he did that. That's awesome. Um, you know what? Here we go. A wiki guide and on IGN. Uh, let's see. Uh, all I want is the one that makes everything on the screen go away. Uh, da, da, da. Let's see. Da, da, da. Well. <sighs> Only the most obvious bullshit. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Really? You think move is, is wasty? You think so? <laughs> Jesus Christ. You know, if, uh, if reset camera is left control, then maybe right control makes that go away. Nope. Nope, no, none of that. Um, <laughs> I just want the, oh my God. Hide HUD. Okay, there we go. That's what I was looking for. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. All right, and then I can just hit F12. There we go. Screenshot taken. How much porn will your history show us? Just wondering. I don't watch porn on my desktop. What are you, crazy? What are you, insane? Are you a crazy man? That sounds insane. You sound crazy. <laughs> All right, then maybe a, a close-up shot like so. What's going on with my eyes? See that? My eyes are bleeding. There we go. Now the good thing about this is that I can I can cut all the background out and uh, make this look however I like. Um, let's uh, let's change the effects. Let's uh, let's bring the brightness down a bit and the contrast. Like right around there. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you ever see thumbnails that look like this? <laughs> there we go. All right. That looks pretty good. That looks great. Perfect. And, uh, you know what, just for shits and giggles, let's just get, let's get, there we go, let's, uh, let's get a shot like so. Uh, delete that.
trying to get a perfect shot. Let's see. That might that might be it. Camera. There we go. There we go. I think this looks pretty good. See if you uh if you if you zoom in like so. It really it really closes that gap. Everything looks a lot closer than usual. <laughs> Smiling dinosaurs. Hello. Oh, hello. <laughs> hello, smiling dinosaur. <laughs> uh, uh, da -da. That's a pretty good shot right there. That that is that is a good thumbnail. That has a lot of things going on. <laughs> uh, now, uh, since I'm since I'm in here, let's just. Uh, get a shot of oh shit i used to have a mod that let you uh let you see uh, when i when i go to the edge it turns red this is as far as my camera can go away i used to have a mod that made it so that i could go as far away as i wanted thing is it gets a little bit weird when you get like a mile out you notice how like some cars are like disappearing there will be some cars that'll just like float along and They'll do all kinds of crazy shit, like characters will blink in and out of existence. <laughs> oh, you know what? Actually, this wide angle is perfect. This is a this is like a, a background shot. Um, let's see. Let's uh, increase the saturation a bit. Give us something to work with here. There we go. All right. That actually looks really good. I'm <laughs> those uh, those previous shots. I think I'm gonna be able to take those and make something good out of them. I, I really do think so. All right. Got all shots I need. So I'm just gonna Alt F4 this mofo. Getting the hell out of here. I'm done. I'm done with it. I'm done. Also. I ran out of music. <laughs> when did that happen? It was so long ago. I was so I was so focused. There we go. Perfect. Exactly what I was looking for. <laughs> uh, James Esposito says, usually when I increase saturation, I have to go put on new pants. I mean, so do I. <laughs> All right, so. Now, we've got, uh, we've got all these to work with. Look at all these screenshots I've taken over the years. This is when the, uh, the Tron DLC came out. You might, you might rem remember seeing some of these as thumbnails. That one was a good one. <laughs> I, uh, I... I tried my best to try to get a good shot of people getting blown over by the uh, the rocket voltaic. That one is a bit better. <laughs> I tried my damnedest. I think I ended up actually using that one. That one was uh, that one was an old one. That was back before I was even all that good at thumbnails. This is the uh, the Christmas one. Looks a lot different than. Uh, let's see. Do I still have it? Hold on. I'm just I'm just going down uh, down memory lane at this point. Let's see, where's uh where is it? Uh hold on. I'm getting close. Ah, here we go. Yeah. Looks a little bit different, huh? <laughs> I I don't think anybody questioned that there was a bell in his hand. <laughs> They're like, yeah, of course. There's there's bells in, in GTA. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Lethal Dean says this is dangerous equivalent to showing us slides of his family holiday. 
Mm -hmm. This is one of us at Disneyland. <laughs> I don't know if I ever used this one. This is, uh... I don't know what I was going for here. I guess I was a hitman? I don't know. This one I definitely used for something. Maybe I still have that. Let's see, maybe in my GTA folder? No. There's some stuff that I've that I've backed up. Look at these ones though. This is my favorite one that I've ever made. This one was pretty okay. That one's good. That one's also one of my favorites too. There's a lot to be said about having uh, having uh, like good composition from the start. You can do a lot to make a thumbnail viewable, but um, but uh, you know if you start off with something that's well composed. Oh, I made it a thumb. I think I did this on a stream maybe, but I took these three images and made a thumbnail out of them. This is all a while back. Ah, uh, there- oh, there- <laughs> look at that! <laughs> uh, where did I just put that? We just looked at that. Right here. Like, I didn't have to do too much, but you can see that I, uh, that I played with the, uh, played with it a little bit. For the most part, like, this was well composed. Like, there was a lot of colors going on. I didn't really need a whole lot. I just filled up this boring area over here with an explosion. <laughs> um, that's from something that was never put on YouTube. Only here on Twitch! Oh, look. <laughs> that's, that's, uh, man, I need to stop putting this away. Hold on. Yeah, see? There, there's, uh, there's the original, and this is what I made out of it. See, a lot of it didn't have to be changed. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Oh, and then there's the, the backflip right there. Or no, that's a, that's a different one. I think it's the next one. Yeah, there we go. Oh, oh jeez. Oh, come on. Ah, fuck! <laughs> I'm getting too excited. There we go. Yeah, so that's that's the original right there. And then uh, I did a couple things. <laughs> but yeah. Ah, uh, here we go. Here's here's the ones that I'm looking for right here. So these are the ones I just took. We got that one. That one's not that good. So I'm glad that I'm glad that I stuck around and uh, and got that one at least. And this one, this one I think is really good. So that one right away, I can do some stuff with that. So let's, uh, let's grab this one. There we go. All right, we're done. <laughs> no, we're not done. Hey, Enigma Champs here. Hey, man. Ah. Oh. Uh, <laughs> uh, all right. <laughs> um, all right. First off, gotta rasterize that layer. I'm gonna I'm gonna make some duplicates. So I I tend to just like duplicate things based on how many how many layers I think I'm going to need. I think I'm just gonna need two for this. To be fair. Then again, I could get rid of this. Sometimes it's like you look at something and you're like, I could probably get rid of that. But I don't know. I don't wanna I don't wanna change it too much. I can There's there's a lot that I can do with just this. First off, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, start selecting Selecting things that don't need to be here anymore. Like all this. Dun, 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 dun. So, uh, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate, separate the bike from, uh, from everything else. Cause that way we can, we can add a drop shadow and a, and a stroke to it so that, uh, so that we can, we can really make it pop. The, uh, the idea is that you want a lot of like, 
you want to you want a lot of colors to pop. You want to you want to use a lot of a lot of tools that you have at your disposal to uh, to trick the eye into thinking that it's way more interesting than it actually is. There we go. All right. I think that looks pretty good. Yeah, there we go. Another thing I like to do is I just like to go... Oh, shit. I like to, uh... Oh, that looks like garbage right there. You see that? What the hell happened to your helmet, son? <laughs> Get out of here, G-Force experience. Let's uh let's fix this fix this helmet area. This uh this quick selection tool. What's it what's it called? Uh quick selection tool, that's what it's called. <laughs> it's it's great for doing fast work, but it's uh it's it's a bit it's a bit clunky, it's not perfect. But it's good enough for thumbnails. Like you're not gonna put any, you're not gonna put anything in a museum that you that you made with the click a quick selection tool. But uh, but it'll make an okay thumbnail at least. All right, that should be that should be good. Yeah, I think that's much better now. Yeah, that looks good. And you know what? Actually, that right there needs to go. Oh, damn it. What the hell's going on? Oh, you know what? Here's what I could do. I could make it a bit harder. Huh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Make it a, 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 a bit harder. Get some get some hard lines going on. There we go. It was just a bit too soft. I mean, that's okay for most stuff, but... I want some hard shit. Hold on. And you'll notice that you see this like little line right here? That'll show up when I start doing drop shadows and stuff. So what I like to do, just to make sure I'm not screwing everything up, hold on. I like to uh, just draw a big circle around what I'm working with, and then uh, select inverse, and then just hit delete, just to make sure I got all the pixels out here, nothing, nothing hanging behind. Ah, <laughs> Mr. Champ says, "Is typical gamer watch watching this?" He was looking for a thumbnail creator. Typical gamer knows my thumbnail game, so I don't know why he didn't message me in the first place. <laughs> I uh, I responded back to him. He never said anything to me. Here's the thing: is that typical gamer has a hard time talking to people that he used to know. You know, like. If 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 he if he if he knew you, and then like he's di stopped talking for a while, like you'll you probably won't ever hear from him again. See now, uh, I did that for a, a number of reasons. So now I can go into my blending options. I can do a drop shadow. There we go. And, uh, even though, like, this, like, having a drop shadow like this doesn't make sense if, if you're, like, if you're thinking about things, like, in real life, from a li real life standpoint, like, it's something that, that draws your eye right here. It makes it blend less into the background. And also what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a stroke, maybe. Up here it looks like garbage. Uh, I might have to touch that up manually. Let's take a look at what what's going on up here. 
And this is what I do before a stream, every time I stream on YouTube. <laughs> Let's, uh... Just do that. There's, like... Basically what it's doing is it's seeing some, some uh, transparent pixels up here, and it's putting a stroke around those pixels. That's a little bit better. Granted, I don't want the stroke to be this this thick, though. Man, that's only a three-pixel stroke, though. One pixel. One pixel's enough. Basically, just what I want to do is I want to have, like, a hard... a hard edge on something. And the... Now, this is a, a trick that Disney does. So, you have a hard stroke around the outside. Let's see, that is... outside, okay. On the inside, have an inner glow. And, uh, it, 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 uh, it, it fakes having an edge light, basically. Disney do does this on a lot of, like, their video games and, uh, and 3D characters and stuff like that. They, uh, it makes it so that it seems as though there's, there's, like, some extra lighting over here that isn't necessarily actually there. Without having to, like, set up complex cameras in a 3D scene. Not quite like that. You can, you can, you can go too crazy with it, though. Let's see, let's try, let's try softer. There we go. And sometimes I don't like doing this, but I'm gonna give it a go and see see what happens yeah see like if there's a fine fine line here it really makes it pop all right that looks pretty okay that looks all right oh man model 212 hello uh, why are you you're not using any masks um, I don't know. Probably because I didn't go to graphic design school and I don't know what a mask is. <laughs> yeah, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I don't know what to tell you. Why, why, why would I use a mask? Let me ask you that. Why would I? What's, what's the benefit? <laughs> would it would it make my life easier? Cause I think because I think I got a pretty good a pretty good thing going on. <laughs> uh, for uh, for saturation and stuff, for the background stuff, I tend to do stuff in Photoshop. But I've got plugins to make things. Uh, to make things better. What am I talking about? <laughs> um, masks are non-destructive, so you can modify your pictures without deleting anything. Ah, no, I don't have time for that. <laughs> no, I'll, I'll destroy the fuck out of them. I don't, I don't care. That's that's the only way that my brain understands things, is if I, if I literally take stuff away from it. Uh... And it's not like it's not like the images go anywhere. Like I've I've got them all in folders, so uh So I I I I really don't mind just just doing that. You know what? Fuck. I don't like what I just did. I'm going to take this into uh into my plugin. Now I use a uh, a, a set of plugins called Topaz Labs, which uh which is a paid plugin. They're pretty. They're pretty pricey, but I think they're worth the money. If, if you're do, if you're, if you're doing something like this every day, it re it'll change your life. Milo says, "Try giving it a go someday. It will change your life. I swear. Just need some time to getting used to." All right, I'll give it a go. Yeah, I'm all. I'm all about uh, progression. <laughs> uh. I usually use Photo Effects Labs from uh, from Topaz Labs just because I like applying this uh, 
this cartoon filter. Apply that shit. Like, honestly, if you just had this plugin, you could just, you could just apply, why didn't it apply? Apply, motherfucker. Uh, you could just apply this to almost any image and just have a pretty good thumbnail. But, uh, but also, um, like it's, uh, saturation and, and exposure options are a bit better than the built-in, uh, Photoshop options. Uh. And see, the, se separating the, uh, the, the two parts of the image, you see, that, like, in the background everything looks great. This is, like... Basically, dy dynamic range for the most part. But up front, everything's too dark. S but I separated the image, the uh, the front and the the foreground and the background, so that I don't have to worry about that. There we go. Add some sharpness. Uh, add some more highlights. And at this point, you can just play with play with sliders until you get the image you're looking for. It's pretty great. It's uh, it's definitely worth worth the money. If if you're doing this every day, like if if you're somebody that's not doing this every day, like you're just like I I make things sometimes. You can you can get this effect in standard Photoshop. It just takes a lot of work, but this just kind of streamlines it and makes it fast. There we go. And there's also a lot of other stuff, like, uh, Star Effects is a good one. I, I wonder if it'll work on this one. Let me just... Like, you can just add, uh, highlights and stuff pretty easily. I'm not... I'm just kind of doing this for, uh, posterity's sake. Like, if you just really want to, uh... Yeah, look at that. Okay, so... If I... I haven't played around too much with the Star Effects, but I imagine... Yeah, luminance, so I can bring the luminance down a bit. It'll probably look a bit more natural. Yeah, let's try it. That one doesn't look so good because of the, uh, the shape of the things. I remember water highlights being pretty good. Oh, man. Oh, Chad's here! Hey, Chad! <laughs> He says, ah, look at this demo. It doesn't even have a green wall. Hey, look, I had a green wall in 2012. Get on my level. <laughs> Get on my level, Chad. <laughs> Chad painted his, uh, his room uh, chroma key green, so he doesn't need a green screen anymore. Let's turn that spread up. I don't know. I'm just messing around with this. I'm not even, I'm not doing that. Cancel. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of other things in here. Like this is this is the whole suite, but you can get these individually. Um, there's really, you know, I never use black and white effects. Do I even have this registered? <laughs> yeah. So like, if you want to do a really good black and white photo, like you you can do it pretty easily just by removing saturation. But this has a lot of like presets. That are good. Uh, yeah, so I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I really, I don't think I would use this over just playing with the saturation. Uh, let's see. Um, the one that the one that sold me on it was Topaz Impression. But after after install like I had it working for a while and then it stopped working. And basically what it is is it it'll mimic like a bunch of different art styles. So like if I wanted to make something look like a uh, like uh, like a like a Monet painting, I could there's a pl there's a plugin to make it look like a Monet painting, which I thought was really cool. And that was the only reason I looked at the rest of the, of this stuff. <laughs> Danger's still the best at paint. Oh no! <laughs> Shit! 
Oh man, I uh, I sure do hope it auto saved. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this dangerous thing for actually following this shit. Well, that's the point of the plugins. Is that they're things that do the things for you. Like if you're. Oh good. Oh look. Whoo. Whoo. <laughs> it's saved. Oh my god, that was close. Uh, what uh, what plugins are these for Photoshop? Did uh, was that two questions in one sentence, Chad? What plugins are these for Photoshop? <laughs> yes, they're uh, called Topaz Labs. Uh, Russ Russ told Russ showed me them. Russ uses them. Ask Russ. Um, a lot of these things I've never I've never used. There's some stuff uh, like uh, like D noise and DJPEG. You know how like you have a picture, and uh, and it's like from a shitty camera, so it has all the artifacting and everything on it. Everything looks like garbage. Uh, you can cl you can clean up a lot of that with uh, with these two tools, denoising and DJPEGging. Um, and there's one that's just that's just for adjusting things. But I found that uh, Photo Effects Labs does almost all the things I want it to. Um, oh, Chad says, oh shit, yeah, I used to have these on my old computer. Well, aren't you special? <laughs> Does it get really indignant? It's like, well, aren't you fucking special? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> JJ Collins, thanks for the, thanks for the resub. That's a tier two resub. I always forget who has the tier two resub. He says, "Take it and like it." Oh, I do, I do like it, sir. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Chad's like, I am special. I have a fucking green wall. <laughs> I invented the green wall. All right. Uh, I'm going to turn up some sharpness on this. You'll notice that, like, the, the sharpness, well, it makes it sharp. <laughs> yeah? If it's all the way down, it's blurry. If it's all the way up, it's sharp. <laughs> Let's see. looking good this sounds like a song I've heard before are you hearing this what is this it was uh, it was called blip blop God, does am I crazy I I swear I've heard this song that song before Hold on, I get. Let's 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 just go back. I swear I've heard that before. Like that whole. Is this gonna play or what? Hold on. It's called Blip Blop Three. Like I like 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 I haven't heard this song before. I've heard, I've heard that 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 melody in a song before Hold on, I gotta refresh this shit it's not working all of a sudden now it's really loud like I swear I've heard this before but as a different song James Esposito says Mega Man. You think? I don't know. I wouldn't recognize a Mega Man song. I never. I didn't play uh, Mega Mega Man. Yeah, 
Yeah, James Esposito says it's, it, that's music from Mega Man. I wouldn't recognize it from, from Mega Man, though. though. Like, that exact part that just happened. I recognize that part from somewhere. God, I swear I've heard it before. It's driving me crazy now. <laughs> no, it's not my intro. I know my intro. Like, it's a, like, I'm remembering lyrics that follow this tune, but I don't know. God, I swear, I, it's driving me crazy. I'm going crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It's driving me goddamn nuts. Fat Matt says it does sound like Mega Man, but I don't I never played Mega Man. I wouldn't recognize it from that. That looks all right. <laughs> Rotten Dead Ted says, then you haven't lived, Danger. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Chad says, damn it, Danger. You heard it from my drawing streams. I play this playlist every drawing stream. I don't watch your drawing streams. <laughs> So, <laughs> Sam Thunder says danger never reads chat. What do you think I've been doing the whole fucking stream? My, my whole, my whole streaming career. <laughs> danger Junior SFE's here. <laughs> The chat says, you have been in my fucking drawing streams, you, you fucking liar. I've talked to you in my streams. No, no, that was a bot. <laughs> uh, and AT Techerstown. Hey, hey, Techerstown. <sighs> what am I doing? <laughs> What am I doing right now? I don't like how this came out. <laughs> Hold on. And I hate that NVIDIA, the NVIDIA whatever the fuck overlay, comes up every time I hit Control alt z And I can't make it stop! Alright, let's try this again. It came out too overexposed for my liking. I want it a little bit more contrasty, a little bit darker. <laughs> I'll see you later, Chad. He's gotta go uh, shit shower and shake his ass. Shake that ass. Shake that ass, uh, Chad. Don't, f don't forget to shake your ass. <laughs> Uh, you shake that money maker, Chad. Maybe less dynamics. It's a little bit too contrasty. You know what? Less highlights seems to be better. You know, for me. Okay, 
let's make the whites whiter and the blacks blacker. <laughs> Sounds racist when I say it like that, but... But shut up. I didn't, I didn't ask. I didn't ask you. Don't judge me. There we go. All right. Let's see what that's like. Ah, so much better. All right. All right. There we go. Perfect. Uh. Let's see. Yeah, let's just put some, put some uh, uh, things. There we go. Here's here's some whiskey. Here's here's this. Perfect. Just add some whiskey to this. There's more more whiskey. And uh, I'll add one of these guys. Perfect. This is making everything better. There you go. That's how you make a thumbnail, everybody. Thanks, thanks for watching. <laughs> That's how you do it. That's how it's done. <laughs> I'm looking for things. Hold on. Uh, specifically, jeez. Uh, I. Uh, ooh, hey, how about an explosion? That's a good thing to have. I'll do something with that in a minute. Uh, let's see. Uh, fuck. Ah, here we go. The Grand Theft Auto 5 logo. You gotta have one of these in there, otherwise nobody knows what game they're watching. <laughs> uh, let's see. I need my. I need the logo. That's what I need. Dun, 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 dun. There we go. All right. Um, where would I put? I got. I got. I, I suffer from really bad uh, uh, organizational skills on my computer, specifically, but also in other areas of my life. But um, yeah, on my computer. My organizational skills are 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 just abhorrent. Um, they're they're quite they're quite bad. There we go. I need one of these and put that in the corner right over here. It's the SFE seal of approval. Otherwise, you won't know that this is a good stream. You'd be like, this could be any stream. I can't stand for that. If it doesn't have the SFE seal of approval, it's not worth watching. There we go. <laughs> there we go. And also, since uh, since we've divided the layers, it's easy just to uh, just do that. Do that number. There you go. Why am I looking at a screen that's not the chat? Hello, everybody. I'm back. <laughs> Stay puffed is here. Uh, it says, "Is this the Punch Out theme?" Oh, maybe? You gotta put PC in the thumbnail, too. I think there might be too many things in the thumbnail. Plus, like, nobody uses PC, so, like, I'd rather hide that fact. <laughs> I, wa I want people to come in and be like, like, oh, is this on PlayStation 4? And then I'll just be like, yep. <laughs> uh, shit. Let's make this a little bit bigger. And also tilt it a little bit. Gotta tilt it a little bit, otherwise nobody will want to watch it. And then, hide part of the logo. That's, that's a danger, that's a danger tip right there. Hide the logo. Also, I don't know if this is true or not, but you see how everything's kind of working around, along a, uh, a, a diagonal line from the, from the top right to the bottom left? It's 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 a it's a marketing trick that tricks your eyes. It tricks your eyes into following the path of what's happening. 
Uh, I don't know if it's true or not, but I heard it somewhere before. I think Hike told me about it. There we go. Let's, uh, let's do, let's do one of these things. <laughs> Great tutorial, huh? <laughs> Uh, now you do this, uh, use this plug-in that you don't have because it costs a lot of money. <laughs> Step one, spend $300 on a, on a plug-in. Step two, profit. Give it some... Not too much sharpness, but just enough. You give it lots of highlights and very few sh shadows. Well, or, uh, sure. Yeah, sure, why not? Let's do all of these things. Just, just do it Do it big. There we go. Perfect. It's everything I ever hoped it could be. It's everything I ever wanted it to be and more. And now it kind of fits uh, a little bit better. It looks like a looks like a real explosion. But see, right here, I didn't, I didn't, uh, I didn't get rid of this part over here under the arm. So the explosion kind of disappears behind his back. So I'm just gonna do this real quick. Oh shit! Not that. Oh shit! Uh, there we go. What the? Smart object is not a directly editable. Oh, fuck. I keep on clicking on the wrong damn thing. There we go. There we go. This is, this is turning into a mess over here. This whole... This whole coat situation is, uh, is killing me. There we go. Alright. There, 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 there. Yep, there. Alright. Alright, there we go. Now that looks better. <laughs> now there's an explosion behind the man. Ah, oh, there we go. James Esposito says, Danger never says what he's playing on. Part of the game is guessing if he's on your spe specific platform. It's like a special game SFE plays. Well, that's the thing. I'm always on PC. <laughs> Maybe I should just rebrand the channel. Just call it Danger on PC. Because I'm always on PC. <laughs> oh, man. Well, thanks, Narval. Narval says it's looking sick. <laughs> Mr. Jam says, did you go to Hike's School of Thumbnails? Funny, funny thing. I went to Russ's School of Thumbnails. I, l I learned everything I know about thumbnails from Russ. Russ took Hike to school on thumbnails. Hike already made really good thumbnails, but when Russ started working for him, Hike... Russ, well, actually, when Russ started working for Hike, he was terrible at thumbnails. Thumbnails were the thing that he was the worst at. And then he, uh, and then and then Hike showed him a, a few things, and then Russ expanded on that. And then at at some point, Russ went from being the student to being the master. And then Hike is like, like this is bullshit. Now your thumbnails are better than mine. <laughs> So then, so then uh, Russ started making Hike's thumbnails, and uh, oh, those were better days. I miss those days. But yeah, I went to the to to the Russ school of thumbnails. But like, just the same as how like Hike ex or uh, Russ expanded on on Hike's thumbnails, I expanded on on Russ's thumbnails. Like, if you look at our thumbnails, they're you can tell the difference between the two. Like, there was a time where I just imitated his thumbnails. I gotta get rid of this part. This is driving me nuts. There we go. That's better. It didn't look right. 
There we go. That's a that's a thumbnail right there. Let's uh let's save that as a as a JPEG as a uh, look at this cool GTA thumbnail. Look at it. And uh, for YouTube, you want to keep it under two megs. This is 1.5, so that's perfect. So I can I can render this at maximum quality. There we go. And then, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then. Ah, here it is. There it is. Now the. Uh, the trick to making a good thumbnail is making it look good while it's small. So, if you make this as small as you can, like say, like this, if it's that small and it still looks good, that's a good thumbnail. Um, I have some thumbnails that are not good thumbnails. Uh, like this isn't a great thumbnail, this is my, uh, my summer car thumbnail. It's not bad, but I was I, I was running out of time. I had to make something really fast. Um, this one isn't perfect, but it's not bad. Mostly it's just because, like, if I had more time, I would have replaced the sky with a different sky. One with less clouds in it. Some Like, that's something that you'll see a lot of YouTubers do, is they'll... They're, to, to make, to make their, their thumbnails pop a lot more, they'll just replace the sky with just the color blue. Um, like, Jopple Scarret does that a lot. This one's not great either. Wait, this is a screen cap. <laughs> this, 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 this is a thing I turned into a thumbnail. Right, ah, I turned it into this one. Yeah, not great, but not bad. I, I did what I could with what I had. See, I, 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 uh, I lightened up the grass. Um, I could have done more with these blue mountain tree areas. And of course the guy's wearing green, so this all these colors kind of just blur together. Uh, it's better to have like some contrasting colors, so that's why it's good to have that red tractor in there. The tractor was really what sold me as an option for a, for a thumbnail. See this one's this one's pretty great <laughs> because uh, even even small you can tell what's going on here. There's there's a dude, funny looking dude, and so, uh, two other dudes behind him. You can tell what game it is. You can see the see my 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 own branding logo. The branding logo is for like I started. I decided to start doing this so that people who watch on a regular basis can find it easier in their, in their sub feeds. Instead of them having to guess based on my art style, you know? So if you're going through your, your sub feed, and you see the logo, you're like, ah, it's a SFE video. Makes it easier for you to find it. This one is, is kind of a conundrum, because when it's small, it looks good. This is a good thumbnail that looks, this, that looks good when it's small, but when it's big, it looks like garbage. It looks bad. It looks so bad. But small looks great. <laughs> Which uh, is is never something that happens when you're making thumbnails. Oh yeah, so... <laughs> so, a lot of people probably just think that this is just a screen cap. Oh wait, where the fuck did it just go? Oh shit. <laughs> My picture just crashed. <laughs> a lot of people think that this is just how the, the image was. But no, I found a picture of of the of the model on their website. So this is this is just the rendering of the player model on the website. Cause I couldn't find shit for SOS. And then I found another picture of the of like a really high quality rendering of the ocean and the in the rock formations and stuff. And I combine it together. Into a into a cool cool picture. <laughs> See, that was like a good example of when I didn't have anything to work with and I made it work. Like like this one. 
I, I found I found these as well. Just on their website or on Google Image Search or something. I think yeah, this is somebody this is somebody on YouTube's thumbnail. Does anybody know who this guy is? Like he's got the Omega as his as his symbol. So yeah, he made this thumbnail, which isn't a bad thumbnail. It's just a boring thumbnail. It's not it's not interesting, but at, at least it pops and you know what you're dealing with here. So I took I took those and I made something better. <laughs> oh, and these are these are some uh, some Russ thumbnails. Like you can definitely see a difference between Russ and my and me now. Russ uses a lot of like uh, like Rastafarian gradients now. And he always puts uh, our GTA characters' heads in. But like a lot of the the, the same things uh, keep popping up, which is like the drop shadow. Uh, I don't think he does the the inward the inner glow thing anymore. He used to do it a lot. He also did a, a lot of um, green glowing outlines from uh, from Grand Theft Alien. He started doing that. In fact, you can see it. I had one up earlier that had. Had that same thing. Oh, the Christmas thing. The Christmas one. Because he sent me... He sent me the image of, uh, of my character. I didn't have that image for the... Or maybe he just made it. I don't remember anymore. I'm so bad at remembering stuff like this. Where was it? Uh... Oh, and, and Russ made this one, too. <laughs> Our Ghost Recon thumbnails. Oh, man. Um, he also made this one. This is a really good thumbnail. So, in, in, in gaming thumbnails, what, like, the first person view with the gun on the screen just really works well, and I don't know why. Because th it, it looks less quality and less cinematic, but it, it works. I don't know. It, it makes sense. Oh, <laughs> I don't know. Actually, I think Russ made. Yeah, Russ definitely made this one. Oh man. Uh. Oh, I made this one. <laughs> oh, I, I I love this one. This one's great. Uh. Oh, yeah. There you go. This has been me showing you my thumbnails that I made. <laughs> But yeah, sometimes, sometimes like, especially when I was doing the, um, the the Twitch stream uploads, I didn't want to put a whole lot of work into the thumbnails. But even still, I just took a, I, I just took the stock, you know, first image that I found of, uh, of, uh, of, of what do you call it, Mirror's Edge. I gotta play this again too. And then I was I was branding like this, which I think was a really good branding idea. But it just didn't work for the YouTube ones. I'm still gonna do it for the for the Twitch ones though. Oh, yeah, right here. This is what I was looking for. Or wait. That one doesn't have it. But this one does. Okay, yeah. See the, the, the green glowing outline? This is something that Russ used to do all the time. So if you see something that has a green glowing outline, like, that's Russ after Grand Theft Alien. Because all the Grand Theft Alien uh, thumbnails had green glowing outlines. Instead of a drop shadow. But yeah, there, there you go. Uh, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do one more really quick because uh, because I want to, um, but also because it should be really fast. So let me let me grab uh, this guy. Shit. This is why it's a pain in the ass doing everything on one screen. I'm doing everything on one screen because I want you to be able to see what I'm what I'm pulling from. Uh, ah, and this. Ah, sh okay, hold on. Let's move that real quick. Yes, place the file, and there we go. And place that one as well. So this is this is a, an, an example of like how you can take a, something that's not a great screenshot. Like this isn't very interesting, 
but I can make it interesting. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make it interesting. Uh, let's just get rid of everything that doesn't need to be here. This is the one again. I swear I've heard this before. I've heard, like, I swear I've heard this melody before. Actually, you know what? I could probably save a lot of time by uh, selecting a color range. So I could select blue. It's not gonna be perfect. I'll select these right away. Oh, come on. Rasterize. Okay, that's not bad. I just gotta get rid of these buildings now. Did I? Hmm. I think I might have fucked up. Yeah, I fucked up. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I fucked that up. Okay. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna... Get rid of it and start over. You see, there was a, just enough blue in the coat to make part of the coat transparent. So a lot, a lot of times I'll just use the, the color range selection tool if I'm just selecting a sky, but if, if you have an image that has a lot of blue in it, makes it hard. Makes it difficult. Let's uh, rasterize this image. I swear I've heard that before. I don't know. I don't remember where, though. And it's not Mega Man. I mean, I'm not saying it's not Mega Man, but I don't remember it from Mega Man. But it might be somebody that used the song that sampled Mega Man. That's that's totally possible. Like, I, I remember I remember it from a song that definitely had lyrics. Cause I'm, cause I'm like, I'm struggling to hear the lyrics when I hear that song. Like I, I remember that there's lyrics. Dun, dun, dun. All right, that's pretty good, pretty good selection right there. I'll also uh, throw that in, throw that in. Luckily, a lot of these edges have good contrast, so it's going to be pretty easy. That's something to look for, like when you're when you're taking a screenshot, is uh, something that has like very contrasting edges. It's gonna make it a lot easier to make these uh, to make these selections. Ah, oh, shit! That's not what I'm trying to do. There we go. Wait, hold on. Ah, oh, shit! Not that. There we go. All right. These shoes are hard because the soles are white. If they were darker, I wouldn't be having this problem. Basically, what uh, this selection tool does is it analyzes all the pixels next to what you're selecting to determine whether or not there's an edge of something there. And if the if if the contrast isn't enough, it has a hard time selecting it. It's a it's a pretty cool thing. And, uh, it came out. Just a couple of years ago, that, that, that selection tool. Well, I think it was still a thing that existed, but it wasn't nearly as good as it was since it came out in like 2014, I think. Delete. There we go. All right. There we go. And uh, and now I can, uh, I can position this where I think it will work best like right here like he's falling ah, i'm falling <laughs> help i'm falling <laughs> i'm falling help help oh man i'm gonna pick a different uh different album because uh I've, uh I've played that one through several times at this point what's tecmo spear tecmo tecmo sphere i don't know so I, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm not, I'm not 
too crazy to pick, click on something I haven't clicked on before, but I don't know, let's let's give it a shot. Oh, I like it. I like it already. It sounds 80s as fuck. <laughs> uh, all right, let's. Uh, so so. Oh jeez, there we go. All right, so I'm gonna make this exciting. I'm gonna throw some explosions in there, like maybe down, down, down here, and uh, it's gonna, it's gonna pull, it's gonna pull this whole, uh, this whole dealy together. All right, uh, let's rotate it slightly so it looks a little bit more natural down there. There we go. Also need some smoke. Some smoke would be great. Hey, Heck's good. Heck's here. Hey, Heck. Um, just happened. Ah, shit. I gotta redo all this. <laughs> oh man. This has been this has been this has been a nice chill time. I like doing this. I could I could do this every day. Whiskey Tango, hello. There we go. Let's get some uh let's see. Let's see if I have some assets I can use in my folders. I need to be putting things in folders, but I haven't been. <laughs> Maybe under fire. Maybe I've got some smoke in 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 the in my fire folder. I don't have too much fire. Ah, smoke right here. Let's uh Let's do Let's do this. Maybe uh turn it sideways because like this is an explosion so it's gonna be shooting smoke out of the sides is what I'm thinking I'm gonna duplicate duplicate the fuck out of there we go we don't need too much we just got to make it look realistic Slightly realistic. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. You can also do some like, you know, get rid of, eliminate those hard edges right there with some, uh, with some eraser action. I'm also going to duplicate it one more time and put it behind uh, the explosion. There we go. Make it bigger. Oh, shit. That's not what I was trying to do. There we go. Bigger. And like so. All right. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> uh, oh, uh, Whiskey Tango says, if you like this music, check out Tangerine Dream. Very, uh, very ancient techno from the late 70s. Oh, okay. Yeah, a lot of this stuff is probably der derivative of stuff like that then. Let's take these layers right here, and I'm going to uh, merge those layers so it's one layer, and then I'm going to change the opacity because it's a little bit too dark. Yeah, that should be good. And then this explosion, yeah, that explosion, I'm going to use the eraser. 
I'm gonna use this fuzzy part. <laughs> I'm gonna bring down the opacity like a lot, like to, to like four. Yeah. And rasterize it. And I should be able to, uh, to take this edge out. Yeah, there we go. There we go. All right. I'm gonna just gonna quick uh, add some exposure to it. Just brighten it. Brighten it the fuck up. There we go. Not too bad. Not too bad. <laughs> not not half bad at all. Um, and where's my? my GTA logo. Let's see. I want it, uh, I want it behind the explosion a little bit, so I'm going to make it even bigger. This is behind the smoke and the explosion. <laughs> make it a little bit more dynamic. So like the, the top, the top, the, the, uh, the top right is further away, moving things in closer to the front. There you go. That's the idea. Like you draw a line. It's a, it's like a perspective line almost. You draw it. It's, it's all the way back here to the front. But you can also have things in the foreground as well. So that works out as well. Dun -dun -dun, filter. All right. This I'm not going to do too much to. Because I think like I, I want to maintain a lot of the details. But I want it to be vibrant as a mofo. Let's see what it looks like with the uh, with the, uh, the the effect on it. <laughs> Danger Junior SFE says, "I think this is techno music." No, not really. Techno music is a completely different thing. But it's I think it's definitely derivative of techno. It's uh, it's definitely it's definitely like. 80s synthwave electronica for sure. There we go. That's perfect. That's exactly what I wanted it to look like. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Throw this in here for good measure. <laughs> Actually, I probably could. <laughs> That's the cool thing, is that if you save these layers, you can reconfigure a lot of the layers over and over again in, like, infinite possibilities. So always, always save your work, which I have not done. Um, all right, this guy. This guy needs work. All right. You move him. Make them bigger, move them over here, rotate them a little bit. Yeah, there we go. See, because I'm drawing that line from, from here to here to here, it gives that impression that he's being projected from the explosion. At least I'd like to think so. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if it's actually doing that, but... I'd like to believe that it is. Oh, man. Uh, what if you move the GTA logo to the other side? Uh, I don't know. Well, I, I kind of like it behind the explosion. That's the whole thing of, of the uh, diagonal line coming from the from the background to the foreground. But, uh, but this logo... I mean, like, these logos could change places, so... Uh, I could do this... And then uh, drop this down over here. Bring the bring this logo up a few layers. And move this over here. Actually, this works really well. <laughs> yeah, that was a pretty good idea. And then just move this up here. Uh, I 
like this playlist. This is a good playlist. There you go. Tilt it a little bit. Perfect. Yeah, that was a pretty good call. Really, really makes uh, this area pop right here. <laughs> All right. Now for this guy. Let's, uh, let's mess with him a bit. <laughs> Earl says, those diagonal my lines mean everything. I mean, it kind of does. There's a few times, like, I've, I've been told that. Actually, I think Hike told me that once. And, uh, and in the example that I was given, it didn't make sense. I was just kind of like, yeah, whatever, old man. <laughs> I don't have to listen to your rules. <laughs> but, uh... But like in, in a case like this, it definitely makes sense. All right, let's see. Let's uh, up the contrast, lower the exposure, increase the dynamics, give it some sharpness. That way we can see the individual fur strands on the coat. Give it some highlights and some shadows. Let's remove some shadows. Give them some saturation. And, uh, and there we go. And now, uh, now we can do some blending options. I think it's going to look a little fucked up. No, actually, it's perfect. Yeah. Give them a, give them a drop shadow. But like a nice thin one. Right here. See this right here? I noticed this when I was in the, uh, when I was in the plug-in. There's a little bit of sky right here that didn't get keyed out. But that's okay. I'll get that in a second. Um, give it the old inner glow trick. And stroke. Stroke it out. How thick is that stroke? Three, three pixels. I'll narrow it down to one pixel. And... Uh, pull this out. There you go. All right. That's not a bad looking thumbnail right there. Let's uh, maybe make it bigger. It's not bad. It's not bad. <laughs> I don't know. Something about the relation of this explosion to the image makes it not pop as much. Huh. Huh. Maybe the explosion's too bright. That might be the case. I'll bring the exposure down a little bit. You know what? Exposure right there. I've. Hmm. Can I make this work? You know what? Here's what I'm gonna do. I got an idea. Um, what am I looking for? I'm looking for the clone stamp tool. Yes, that's right. Uh, here, no, actually, here's what I'm gonna do first. I'm going to uh, get rid of all of... I'm going to get this out of the way first. Here's my idea. You're going to think I'm crazy. Alright. I'm going to select everything. I'm going to select the explosion. Alright. Explosion selected. <laughs> now I'm going to use the clone stamp tool. And if I remember correctly... Okay. I can select this as a sample there we go all right so I'm basically I'm sampling a different part of the image and then painting that part of the image uh, over over a different part of the image that yellow 
part was just like way too bright. So I wanted to get rid of it. I just want the, the dark, the dark orange areas. That's what I wanted. There we go. There we go. Did you think I was crazy? Did you think I was crazy? <laughs> All right. Much better. You see how much of a difference that made? And it doesn't even look weird. Like, this is literally just copying this part of the explosion. Like, you can see it right in here and right in here. But you're not going to notice that if you're just if you're just looking at it like a thumbnail. Like, if it's that, if it's this big. See, look, look how small I can make this. And you can still make out a lot of the details of the thumbnail. That's a good thumbnail. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Two good Grand Theft Auto thumbnails. Not bad. Let's uh let's save this whole document as uh some good as GTA thumbnails for the YouTubes. <laughs> and then uh, I'll go ahead and uh, and save a, a, a JPEG. A JPEG. That's how it's pr uh, correctly pronounced, by the way. It's called JPEG. You know, much like, uh, much, much like, much like how, how you have, uh, the argument of GIF or JIF, a JPEG is actually called a JPEG. All right, there we go. 1.5 meg, perfect. <laughs> Member Curtis says, you are crazy, but we are all crazy. That's right. It's true. Truer words could not be said. All right. Uh, now, if I go, if I refresh and go back up, you can see the, the thumbnails we made. Made uh, made this one today, and we made this one today. I almost like this one better than this one, a little bit, a little bit. They're both good. But yeah, there you go. That's how I make thumbnails. And that's why it takes me so long to uh, to set up a uh, a stream on YouTube because this is what I do every time before a stream is uh, is I make a thumbnail like this. I've been reusing a lot lately, so I've just been adding logos to them. Like I've been going through some old stuff and just adding some logos and branding and stuff. But yeah, for the most part, when uh, when I when I make a new thumbnail, that's what I got to do. And uh, yeah, I can usually do it pretty, pretty fast. Like around 30 minutes, I can make a pretty good thumbnail usually. But like when you when you only have 30 minutes to make a thumbnail, sometimes you gotta work with whatever you got. So like, uh, where's where's my my folder of of GTA images? Uh, I don't know where it went. I don't know where it went. Oh, it's right here. Yeah, so like, if you look through here, there's a lot of stuff that wouldn't have made a good thumbnail, like this. But like, if I only have 30 minutes to make a thumbnail, a lot of times I gotta like, take this and do what I can with it, and sometimes it's hit or miss. Um, but yeah, there, there we go, everybody. There, there we go. And Whiskey Tango says, came for the stream, stayed for the music. <laughs> it was nice, wasn't it? But uh... Yeah, let's uh, let's let's uh, let's do a raid. Every, everybody, everybody, wake up! <laughs> I know you're chilling to some uh, to some some soothing sounds, <laughs> but uh, but we gotta wake up and do a raid, cause we we should we should raid somebody doing art as well, cause uh, cause that'd be great. I mean, it makes sense, right? Uh, creative. Let's see if there's anybody. Doing a creative stream. That uh, 
that would be good to watch. Oh man, you know, you know Ross from Game Grumps, Rubber Ninja, he's doing a drawing stream. Oh, let's raid him. I need everybody on board for this. I really do, cause, cause, cause if we're gonna get Ross's attention, we're gonna need everybody. We're gonna need everybody to be on their on their on their best on, on their 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 at, at their finest and on their finest hour. <laughs> um Let me just pull this up. I'm gonna mute him real quick though. Oh jeez. Uh This is this is a long shot because he's got let's see. Uh what the fuck? <laughs> Why did it take me there? Ah, there we go. He's got uh, 486 people watching. So we're going to have to be on our... This is going to have to be our finest hour because there's not many of us here. <laughs> um, but he'd, he'd, uh, he'd, be, he'd, he'd, be a, he'd be a fun one. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it in there. Uh, raid. I, like, I, I doubt he'll even notice us, but we got to try. We got to try. <laughs> Uh, but uh, but thanks everybody for 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 watching today, and uh, and uh, I'll 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 see you guys see you guys later. Uh, good, good goodbye goodbye everybody everybody hit everybody join the raid everybody join the raid. Uh, I'll I'll see you later. Goodbye goodbye everybody. See you later see you later tonight on YouTube. Goodbye. <laughs>